Hello everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In today's MT Predictor video I'd like to have a look at losses and in particular how as long as you keep your losses small and your profits large that is the key to being a successful trader. So we'll look at profits and losses in today's video. But as usual we have to start with our risk disclaimer and remind you that all examples in these videos should be considered as hypothetical. No trades are actually taken, they're just shown for illustration and training purposes only. Remind you there's a risk of loss in trading and investing. That's what we'll be looking at in today's uh, webinar. And as such, all traders must know and understand, but more importantly, accept that losses can and do and will unfold. So as an example of this, I'm going to look at the USE minis uh, for yesterday, and in particular, the YM. I'm using a day session only chart with our standalone version. So I just want to have a look a bit earlier in the day and just use our trading mode to, to go forward. And as you can see, we had a, a DP cell setup arrive. So I'm just going to have a look and see what the result of that was. Our MTP trend was down. So we right mouse click over the red cell bar, do analysis, and that gives us our position sizing. And this is the key to keeping losses small. You can set up different size accounts. And that then uh, um, calculates the number of contracts or lots to. Sh uh, to trade for a given a risk. In this case, we're risking 2% of a sample $20,000 account. So this would be two contracts. If I go forward, can you see how on the very same bar, on the next bar, this was actually taken in to a short trade. It then stopped you out straight away. So that would have been a losing trade. It would have been what we call a minus one R or one risk unit loss. Let's take that off. Let's go forward a bit. Here we had a TS4 cell setup come in. We right mouse click. Do exactly the same before. Let's see what happened on this trade. We then go forward, and you can see actually here the trade wasn't filled. So it didn't go below the um, entry level. It went past the stop level to start with, therefore invalidating it. Therefore, it was no trade. Let's take that off. We now got a DP sell, so another sell setup. Right mouse click, do analysis. Again, our position sizing keeps our initial risk still under the 2% of a sample $20,000 account. We go forward, and again, exactly the same happened as before. It went down, just took us in, straight back up again, and stopped us out. So at this point, you'd be two losing trades. So you'd have had two losses. In other words, you'd be 2R down. And this is why we keep the losses small. So even, it's, even though it hurts to have losing trades, each loss is kept small at 2% of a $20,000 account. So you're there you are, two losses down. Let's go forward. There's a TS4 cell setup, still valid because our MTP trend is down. Do the analysis, exactly the same. Go forward, this time you're now taken in. Notice how the initial risk this time only goes um, one contract. But again, it's still the same one R um, risk. This time you're taken into a short trade. Our target's all the way down here. Let's now turn training mode off and see what the result of this third trade would have been. Turn training mode off and this is what the third trade actually did. It caught the really strong decline yesterday. In fact, that was a nice five wave sequence going down there, but that could be the subject of another video. But as you can see, it went down, it came back, didn't stop you out, just got into um, losing territory before it then reversed back down and carried in your own direction. But the main point is it didn't stop you didn't stop you out. This happens a lot when you're intraday trading, that the market can go with you and it's important not to bring your stop to break even too quick because this can happen. It can go back to your entry level and then start to go with you again. And it went all the way down to then come out at its target, which actually uh, was pretty much almost the low of the day. But the key is this figure here. Do you see how this trade here was an 11 R profit. In other words, this trade here was 11 times greater than the two previous losses. So when you look at this to start with, you can see um, that there would have been one, two, three trades here. Out of that, you'd have had two losses and one profit. In other words, more losing trades than profitable trades. So at the outset, you might think that's not very good, but by using position sizing, each loss was kept small at minus one R then the profitable trade, the good trade, was much, much larger than that. those. And in fact, it was actually 11.2R or 11R or 11 times greater than the losses. So this is the key 
to position sizing. Why we use position sizing is when you're wrong, and you will be wrong, the less the losses are kept small. But when you're right, the idea is that you have right when you're right, the profits are large, but not just large in dollar terms, but large in relation to your initial risk or your losses. Large profits and small losses. There was also a VS buy set up here a bit later that basically went sideways and that was the topic of our uh, web teaching uh, webinar for customers only yesterday in that if you have a VS set up that basically chops sideways sideways for a while then at the very least you want to come out at break even and as you can see here even on a 2% risk on a $20,000 account the risk was actually greater than 2% you see that it was $440 which is greater than $400 i.e. the 2% so if you're following MT predictor properly you wouldn't have even taken that trade in the first place you wouldn't have taken that TS3 sell because that was against uh, a blue MTP trend so as you can see risk exceeded not taking it so that's a good example of why we use position sizing and also a hopefully good example to understand that losses can and will and do unfold when you're trading. It doesn't matter what trading approach you take, they'll always be losing trades, but the trick is keeping the losses small. So when they come through, they're kept at what we call minus one R. Then when you have good trade setups like we had here, I mean this was an amazing trade setup that got um, you um, the, well the signal bar there was the very bar of the high of the day and coming down here the profitable um, or the, the profit target was pretty much the low of the day so that's about the best you could have done yesterday. If you're looking to say about where the larger degree trend was and were there any higher time frame DPs if you look to the 24 hour chart oh well, that's my analysis from yesterday uh, you go back to the previous high here right mouse click do decision point and as you can see that came into that high there. That's exactly where the uh, TS4 cell was on the day session only chart. This time it's on the 24 hour uh, chart. And also, if you right mouse click there, do Elliott Wave Intermediate, you'll see that was a perfect ABC correction up into that high there. And also, by the way, the um, DP target on the day only chart was actually the same as the DP, was that one there, it was actually the DP off that wave B. So it came in very nicely. You can see in after hours trading, the market did carry on down. It did carry on down. If I do the DP off the low, it came down. That's where it stopped absolutely nicely. So the DPs worked absolutely beautifully here, catching that high, catching the, the minor rally off that uh, uh, minor support, and then going on down to that uh, major support there as well. But the main point is that, yes, there was higher time frame D, DP resistance and also a nice um, uh, Elliott Wave pattern at the same time uh, on the 24 hour chart that we had this TS4 cell on the uh, day session only chart. So yeah, there was uh, everything coming together there at the same time. So hopefully that's been a good example to show you both profits and losses and why it's important to keep your losses small and your profits large in, in, to hopefully um, keep those um, profits much larger than your losses. And that's the the aim to become a professional trader, keeping the losses small and the profits large. As you can see yesterday, a great example there on a three minute chart of the YM. If you trade the other markets, the ES, there's the ES, so that had a DP sell at the high of the day, uh, down into if you wanted to take the higher time frame uh, DP support for a very nice trade there as well. Again, there was a losing trade earlier, and on the NQ, there were sells, but they were against a blue MTP trend. So the ES had uh, a nice sell at the high, but the main one that was the best one was the uh, the YM.